Welcome to Mixed Media Monday. Today I'm showing you a journal that I created in one of my regular notebooks and what I did to start off was cover the pages in um, a layer of gesso, of acrylic gesso, and then I took the drywall tape that is in mesh format and uh, added it all over the page just to give a little bit of texture and, and dimension to this page. And then I just kind of kept tapping it all down and making sure everything was secure and solid and um, and adhered properly and let it dry. My next step is to grab the Liquitex modeling paste and to add some diamonds and some more texture to this page. And I think this I think this stencil is a crafter's workshop stencil, but I'm not 100% certain on that. So, um, like most uh, texture pastes, I'm just going to run it through the stencil and pull up the stencil, but look, it's not dry yet, so I had to kind of dip my paintbrush in a little bit of water and try and smooth everything back down again. My stencil stuck to the page and uh, ripped up a big chunk out of the page. I, did, I didn't want it to be um, really thoroughly dried. I did want it to be a little bit moist because I'm going to add acrylic paint to it. And I, I often like the look, the softer look, when the um, acrylic paint that I add to a page blends in with the gesso background. It gives kind of a, a softer feel to the, the whole piece. So once I'm done with this stencil, I'm going to just scrape the stuff off and put it back into the jar. And then I'm going to grab my next stencil. My next stencil um, it's a circle stencil and it came from a garage sale. It was part of a big kit that I picked up at a garage sale. And um, there's really not there's not a name on it. There's not a whole lot of, of dimension to it. There's not a whole lot of texture to it. It's just allowing me to... Um, it's basically a piece of plastic with a bunch of holes um, dropped into it, punched into it. So all I'm getting out of here out of this stencil is the little holes but it'll give a nice texture by the time that I'm done. I picked this up at a garage sale, so I really don't know who made it or or anything like that, what brand it is. But I, I really do enjoy it, and I really enjoy it when I have um, uh, doing working with sprays and stuff like that as well. <clears throat> it's just really, really simple, and that's what I like about it. So if you notice, I've used each stencil I'm going to use each stencil three times and the reason for that is just design theory. Um, your eye seems to like the balance of three things or odd numbers better than it does even numbers. So all I've done is kind of tried to balance the page by adding my um, both two stencils into three different places. With the diamond shaped grid texture and the, three, the two stencils I have three textural elements now. I put the, the diamonds at different angles. I've only put on different components of this circle into here. And um, I've pretty much left it so that your eye keep, thinks the page is nice and balanced. And while that's all monochrome now, once it dry, I am adding some acrylic paint. And I'm doing this with a baby wipe. Um, it's just the, the lightweight Liquitex uh, sampler pack of of paint and I just want an overall color here so I'm just dipping into the acrylic paint and I'm dabbing all over and uh, creating kind of an, an even spread of color across this across this page with the baby wipe I am getting a lot of color differentiation and that's what I wanted I wanted kind of a cloudy type of type of look for this I'm going to do both pages with that light blue <coughs> And then I'm just going to make sure that uh, I change places, change the, the spot that I'm using on my baby wipe because with all this texture in here, the problem that my baby wipe is having is that it's disintegrating much quicker than it would if I was working on a smooth page simply because the texture is rubbing the fibers of the baby wipe raw. And the, the most um, detrimental to the baby wipe, the texture that's most detrimental is the circles because it's like having um, little, tubes of, little tubes of texture sticking straight up. So once I have a nice even spread on here, I'm going to go and grab my next color. And my immediate thought was that I wanted to um, rub 
the diamonds off so that they were white and that wasn't working and my circles that wasn't working so what I decided to do was lay the stencil back over top of the diamonds and then use the another baby wipe with some acrylic paint and then color over top of the diamonds so this and then I'm using up all the rest of my uh, rest of my paint um, I often try to do that where I put a certain amount of a product into a, a palette or something and I often try to use up all of the all of whatever supply that I've that I've put out and that often leads me to have a lot of color on my on my projects but I haven't there hasn't been a project yet where I haven't liked the effect of it where I haven't enjoyed what I had done with it so if you notice there with the pink what I did with the excess is just smudge a little pink you know randomly throughout the page just to kind of create this cohesive feeling between the pink diamonds and everything else because they are quite a solid um, solid thing now and then when I did the green diamonds I did the same thing whatever I had left on my baby wipe and whatever was left in the palette I just went through and um, did that too so if you saw there I tried to line up the um, dots on there as well but it just wasn't doing what I wanted it to do and that I couldn't line up the exact dots on the stencil because it just so it simply wasn't working. So what I'm going to try to do is um, color the the dots from that stencil. I'm going to try and draw color them white, but you're really not getting the effect of them. You can't really see them at all. And even though I brought in the black around the edge, I didn't want to get too dark so I picked uh, the darker shade of blue and brought that in around the circles so that when I go to put in the white color the the texture white um, it's all nice and and bright <coughs> and now here I don't want to I don't want to color all of the texture I don't want to paint all the texture white I just want to create um, a little bit of emphasis on on the texture and on the shape on the circular shapes in there I'm kind of thinking along the lines of um, Zen Tangle and so forth. So kind of a, a random random levels of, of white going around. There's not really any pattern to it. And um, just making it so that it appeals to the eye. And then I'm going to move on to the next circles and I'm going to do the same thing. So I really liked that really light blue background and I really liked the texture that the, the tape provided and when all was said and done I really didn't have any issues with how this was going and I really didn't have any plans with how this was going. Um, this was one of those pages where the day wasn't all that spectacular, there wasn't anything fancy about the day, it was just a, okay, um, I'm just going to sit down and I'm going to make a page. So there was no real rhyme or reason, no plan, which is really uncommon for me. I generally have something in my mind and then I, I create whatever's in, you know, try to create whatever I have started in my mind. And this wasn't one of those days. This was one of those, well, let's see where, where this takes me. So once again, I have extra white in my palette there. And so I decided that I'm going to um, just use it up. And if you look again, I'm, I'm thinking about random or um, uneven numbers once again. So the next thing that I grabbed onto was my uh, Black Stays On ink and my Stampers Anonymous stamps. These ones are, um, you know, there's a, a bust there and there's scissors and there's, I guess there's just sewing notions. And then I just kind of added them in there. Um, mostly I added them because they're, they were new and I wanted to try them out. I wanted to see... Um, how deep the how deep the impressions were and um, what kind of image I would get from stamping on uneven surfaces. Once I was done all of this um, I sat there for a few minutes and I was thinking about uh, what to what to write so finally it came to me that some days just aren't that amazing. So not every day is spectacular. Not every day has amazing things happen. Um, not every day is is super memorable. Some days just aren't amazing, and that's okay. Not every day has to be amazing. This project actually made me feel feel quite frustrated with this pen. It's an an artist pit pen, and um, the reason that I was feeling frustrated is that 
it really didn't want to write on the acrylic paint. So if you look here, I switched over to a um, jelly roll pen, and then I switched back to the the pit pen, and then I switched to the jelly roll pen because I just couldn't I couldn't get a nice clean heavy black line out of these pens. They just did not want to write over top of that acrylic paint. And to this day, I do find that I'm having trouble with a lot of pens writing consistently over top of acrylic paint. And um, until I, I find a solution, I'll, I'll probably just keep fighting and, you know, going back and forth between pens. I really do prefer the India ink pit pens simply because the India ink is waterproof and um, that is, you know, that is what I usually want out of a, out of a project or out of a pen. But there's these jelly rolls, as long as you allow the ball to roll in the tip, so you use a light hand, I find that they roll very nicely and very smoothly, and I am not often disappointed with them. Unless you're writing on a textured surface like a, like a gesso or a clear gesso or something along those lines where it's an absorbent surface and it's got a lot of tooth. Then the jelly, jelly roll has to be um, wiped off, the tip has to be wiped off quite frequently. But otherwise, I'm I'm pretty dedicated to my jelly roll pen. So I've just kind of gone along and added some detail. I highlighted the the diamonds are on each thing, and I scribbled along the edges, and I I colored some some texture in there, and um, just highlighting with my black pen until I feel like I'm finished. <clears throat> and here are the close-ups, all the different levels of of texture just right there for you. I really like how that drywall tape worked out and I'll probably use it for several more projects and there wasn't anything about this project that I disliked. So thanks for watching Mixed Media Monday.